Good afternoon, Pilgrim Rest family and friends. I am Tabitha Perry, and I am with the Intercessory Prayer Ministry. I want to say thank you. Thank you for making the time and taking the time to join us today for our Wednesday noon corporate prayer. I would like to also remind you that today is Wednesday night Bible study that starts at six o'clock. If you can join in person or via stream that you may be blessed by the word of God this evening. With that, I wanna be respectful of your time. So let's go straight into corporate prayer, amen. Hallelujah, bless you, Father God. Glory to your name, Father God. Father God, we lift you up high. We magnify you, we glorify you, we honor you. For you are the everlasting God. For you are the beginning and the end. You are the God who holds all power in the palm of your hand. You are the God that sits high and look low and there's nothing that's taking place on this earth that has caught you off guard. Father God, we wanna honor you today as our Abba Father. Father God, we wanna say thank you for being a great Abba Father, for being a father who has not left or forsaken us, for being a father who loves us unconditionally, for being a father who sacrificed your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, just for us, for being a father who left the comfort of your Holy Spirit that dwells within us. Father God, we want to say thank you, Lord God, for allowing your word to become life unto us, that we're able to use your word, Lord God, to give us wisdom, to give us discernment, to give us clarity, to give us peace, Lord God. Lord God, we want to say thank you for the example of Sarah, in which you show that there is nothing too hard for you to do. There's nothing impossible for you. Lord God, we wanna be thankful, Lord God, for the story of Esther, Lord God. And Lord God, in her story, Lord God, we will trust you to exalt us in your timing. For not our will, but your will be done in the name of Jesus. Father God, we just want to say to you, Father God, that we know that you are a good God. We are reminded that you are the same God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. And God, throughout your word, you remind us that you are the father of Abraham. You remind us that you are the father of Isaac. You remind us that you are the father of Jacob. And Lord God, in those examples, Lord God, these were not men that were perfect. These were imperfect men. These are men who fell short of your direction and your calling. But God, you still use them and despite of them. You still bless them and despite of them. For Lord, you did not judge their decisions and their actions, but God, you judge what was in their heart. And with that, you were able to use them. So Father God, we believe that even in our imperfection, even in the midst of sometimes we don't do what you have called us to do, that Lord God, you don't see us in our imperfection. You see us as you see your only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, that you will continue to perfect us until the coming of Jesus Christ. So God, we thank you that you see us beyond our flaws. God, we wanna say thank you that you even see us beyond our sins, transgressions, and iniquities. But Father God, we don't wanna take any of it for granted. So God, we ask you to forgive us of our sins, transgressions, and iniquities. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. And God, we ask that you would cleanse us, that you would make us a new Lord God. Lord God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus with thanksgiving to say, Father God, despite of any and all things, Lord God, despite of the loved ones that we have lost, despite of the trials and the tribulations that we're dealing with, 
Father God, we're going to bless you through it all. We're going to bless your name with tears falling down our eyes. We're going to bless your name even when things don't feel good and things don't look good. God, we're going to bless your name. We're going to glorify you. We're going to magnify you. We're going to lift you up, God, because we know that you are worthy. And Lord God, we know that despite of what man has said, despite of what we're dealing with, that nothing is over until you say that it's over because you have the last and final say so. So God, we count it as an honor that we can come before you in prayer. That Lord God, we can tell you the things that's in our hearts, the things that are troubling us, Lord God. We know that you already know, but God, we thank you that we have the honor to come before you in the name of Jesus and confess unto you, Lord God. So Lord God, right now, Lord God, there's some things that we need to surrender unto you, Lord God. Lord God, we surrender unto you, Lord God, the areas of our hearts that are broken. For God, you are our mender of the brokenhearted. God, we surrender unto you, Lord God, fear and anxiety, Lord God, because those spirits are not of you, Lord God. God, we surrender unto you trauma. We surrender unto you past failures and hurt, Lord God. We surrender unto you, Lord God, sickness and illness, Lord God. We surrender unto you, Lord God, depression, because that's not a spirit of you, almighty God. We surrender unto you confusion and doubt. We surrender unto you, Lord God, the things that's causing us to be weary. God, we surrender unto you the things that are causing us, Lord God, to be, luke, to be lukewarm. Because God, we need not to be lukewarm Christians, Lord God. So everything that's causing us, Lord God, not to align with your word, Lord God, we surrender unto you, Lord God. We surrender unto you, Lord God, that we may be able to walk in your peace and your joy, the peace that Christ is all understanding, the joy that the world did not give, that the world cannot take away. And God, as we're surrendering unto you, Lord God, we have your peace and we have your joy. God, we ask that you would cleanse us, cleanse us in our minds and cleanse us in our hearts. Renew within us a new spirit right now, oh Father God, that we will be released, Lord God, of the things of yesterday, Lord God. But yesterday is behind us, Lord God. Even this morning is behind us, Lord God. And Lord God, we cannot do anything about those things that has already taken place. But God, we're asking that you would stand in the midst right now, Lord God. That you will order our footsteps, Lord God. That you will give us direction, that you will give us wisdom, that you will give us clarity. That God, that you will lift up, bow down heads, Lord God. And Lord God, when some of us are dealing with low faith, Lord, we cannot be ashamed, Lord God, when we're dealing with situations and our faith is getting low. Because God, your word said that if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, that that is, that is more than enough for you to move on our behalf. So God, we ask that you would take the little that we have and that you will multiply it, Lord God. That you will take the little that we have, Lord God. And that you will enlarge our territory, Lord God. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that we would not walk in defeat. That we would not walk in guilt and in shame, Lord God. But that we will walk in victory. That we will speak in victory. That we will move in victory. That we will believe in victory according to your word, Lord God. Because God, you said that you would not withhold any good thing from us, Lord God. So God, we thank you right now that you're wiping tears from our eyes. We thank you right now, oh Father God, that you're lightening the load from our shoulders right now, Lord God. We thank you right now, Lord God, that you're shining your light in our darkness right now, oh Father God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit, Lord God, is falling in us and through us and it's cleansing us and it's making us whole, Lord God that our spirit is being renewed even now, Lord God. Lord God, despite of what we're seeing in the natural, despite of what we're hearing, Lord God. Lord God, we stand on your word because your word is true. Lord God, we fix our eyes upon you because this is where we find our strength and this is where we receive our help. It is in you, almighty God. So Lord God, we're turning unto you, oh Father God. 
And Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that every stronghold, every generational curse or demonic forces that are coming against us, Lord God, that's coming against our families, Lord God, that is attacking our community, Lord God. We're pleading the blood of Jesus Christ upon it right now in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we ask that you will help us to manage our tongues, Lord God. Help us to manage our mouth, that our flesh would not have authority over our tongues. As you said in your word, an unmanaged tongue set things afire. So help us, Lord God, to be mindful of the things that we allow to come out of our mouth. And Lord God, now we pray for the young adults, for this youth, Lord God. Lord God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will open their minds and their hearts to receive truth, truth in your word. God, we pray right now that they will come to believe in you like never before. So Lord God, cleanse their minds and cleanse their hearts, Lord God. And Lord God, we ask that you will not allow a weapon to form against this youth that it may prosper. Lord, Father God, we pray that this youth would not be displaced or deceived by demonic music, by ungodly movies and television scenes, by demonic social media and misguided friends, that they will not be conformed to the standards of this world, but transformed by the renewing of their minds. Father God, you also have instructed us to pray for this government. Lord God, we ask you in the name of Jesus that you will cover their ears and minds from the demonic whispers. Father God, we thank you for the strong Christian individuals you have placed in leadership positions today. Father God, we ask that you will strengthen them and that you will give unto them greater wisdom. Father, we ask that you will reach and change the hearts of world leaders. God, we pray against every evil agenda. And Lord God, during this political season, Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that we would not be deceived by the things that we are hearing, that Lord God, we would not make decisions at the poll based on personal opinions, but that Lord God, that we would seek your word for truth, Lord God, that we would seek your word for wisdom and discernment, that we would know how to vote according to your word, Lord God. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, that you will be merciful upon the United States of America, Lord God, we understand, Lord God, with all the evilness that's taking place upon our land. Lord God, it's, we, we're thinking of things according to stories in your word, Lord God. Solomon and Gomorrah, Lord God, it's taking place among our land, Lord God. And God, with that, oh Father God, we deserve the judgment of your hand. But God, we ask you for mercy and grace upon our land. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon our land. We ask you, Lord God, we ask you, Lord God, to forgive this land of our sins, transgressions, and iniquities. We ask you, Lord God, to turn us around, Lord God, to free us, Lord God, from the attacks of the enemy, Lord God, from demonic things and spirits, Lord God, that we're wrestling with, Lord God. God, we pray right now, in the name of Jesus for victory. We pray right now for wholeness. We pray right now, Lord God, for revelation. Lord God, put a newness in our hearts, Lord God, to chase after you, to seek you, to walk with you, to cry out to you, to wait on you, to trust in you, to lean on you, to stay in your word, to stand still until you tell us to move, God. Lord God, even when things don't look good and they don't feel good, we know that you are God and we know that you are in control because you are a good God and you are our Alba Father. So Lord God, we thank you for the victory. Father God, we thank you for the deliverance. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you. We thank you for loving us. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for loving us. We thank you, oh Father God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for blessing us. We thank you, God, for healing us. We thank you, God, for delivering us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the great works that you're going to do in us and through us. And with that, Lord God, we say amen. We say amen, 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 amen. 
Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you all.